new from Vinegar Syndrome and part of their VSA range, number 17, and that range comes The Grave. And this was one of those say, mid-90s movies never heard of. There was a slew of direct-to-video stuff in the 90s and as much as I wanted to see as much as I could, this one just never appeared on my radar. And it's got an absolutely wonderful cast in this one. It's um, Craig Schaefer, Gabrielle Anwar, Josh Charles, Donald Lowe, Keith David, John Deal, uh, Giovanni Rubisi, Anthony Michael Hall, Eric Roberts. It's got a great cast. It's a great kind of pulpy story. It is a southern neo-noir movie where we follow our character of King and his friend who are in prison. And if I had it over, I probably wouldn't change nothing, truth be known. See, a man can want bad. The movie opens with a conceit of someone with a rather raspy voice telling a tale, um, a, a sort of urban legend, so to speak, of King. And then we f encounter the story um, as, as we follow it through. King and his friend uh, have a rather easy way about themselves. They're in prison. They hear this story about a grave that's filled with treasure and they decide to break out and chase after it. I can give you a tip. I'm a crime of the century. Crime of the century. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Crime of the century. And it's basically a tale that leads them down uh, self-destruction almost uh, as they discover deceit, uh, horrors, as nothing quite goes as planned. A little bit of blood in this one as well. But it's all about the characters. This is a movie that really finds a perfect balance between that noirish nature but humorous at the same time. Now, where's the last place anybody would look for a dead body, huh? Huh? A fucking grave, right? And it's all to do with some of the characters and, and the way they act or react in certain situations. I loved a whole lot of the supporting cast here, particularly Anthony Michael Hall, who I think does exceptional work within this one. Um, it's a tale that is really fun. It's really quick. The pace is superb and it just keeps the story flowing. And whenever there's little lapses in the story, you get humorous character quirks that really drive it forward. It has this kind of blues score as well that just makes you kind of ease into the movie, sit back and relax. Even though there are some propulsive moments within the film, that score just puts you at ease puts you in the mind that you're going to see something different to what you're actually seeing on screen. And the way it's kind of shot and the way that it uses a lot of its supporting characters for one scene and gone is just awesome. Like Giovanni Rubisi, he's there at the start to instigate something and then disappears. Eric Roberts appears uh, for a scene as well, does some great work. You think it's going to go somewhere else, it takes a left turn. This is a film all about mystery. It's, it doesn't feel like it's in a rush to get anywhere, but it's just the, the sort of way it's constructed, um, where it feels almost laid back, it feels surprising in what happens. There was always um, a different twist to something that I, I thought was going to happen. And although the ending um, was something that I, I kind of figured mo out mostly, it didn't rob the movie of any surprise or twists. And also Keith David in this one, I don't think I mentioned Keith David. I'll pray for you. It's very nicely shot. It's got a real uh, humorous edge to it that I particularly loved. I love the idea of King and this tale of urban legend uh, grave robbers perpetrating into a prison as people just have time to waste and are telling their tales was incredibly fun. There's not a down point in this movie where I lost interest. I wasn't curious about what was going to happen next. I wasn't wondering what had happened to certain characters and had they vacated this story for certain points. Look, please, if you tell him, you might as well blow your own damn nuts off, okay? But I'll tell you one damn thing, I ain't in the nut blowing business. And like I said, Anthony Michael Hall does exceptional work as this kind of a character who is out for himself and that's pretty much him and he's not the smartest uh, tool in the shed but he has enough savvy to get by most of the things. Riotously funny, 
incredibly watchable, wonderful mystery at the heart of it that I really don't want to get into because I feel it's a, an absolute joy. This is a movie that does not belong in the VSA range. This is a fantastic movie. It is the best of the VSAs in my mind. Terrifically watchable. One that I am looking forward to showing friends. You know when you find that kind of movie and you're like, wow, nobody's going to have heard of this one. I am looking forward to letting other people see it. This is one of those movies. Great performances, music, wonderful direction and style. Has a certain look, a distinct look about it that I really liked. Um, a real easy and enjoyable watch. I'd love to know your thoughts on The Grave. As always, there's more content. You can check them out up here. More videos, more reviews. If you like this channel, feel free to say, like the video, share the video. It all helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, even dropping a comment helps as well. Plus, I get to chit chat with you folk. And if you're looking for that little bit of extra support, you can join the Patreon or the membership program, which would be amazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.